This right here is the only device that you will ever need to set up your own network server to host all of your files, movies, whatever you like. For many people, it even works as a straight up computer that can be set up in your own home office. It's the Camrui Essence N2 and it's under $200. No more trying to set up expensive server equipment or draw massive amounts of power. This also comes with Windows 11 Pro pre-installed, which is an added bonus. The best part is that the physical footprint of this device is so small. It's literally the same size as this AirPods box. In the box, we have the mini PC itself, an HDMI cable, a power adapter, and some screws, and a mounting plate if you want to mount it to a wall. Spec-wise, the model I have here has 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 512 gigabyte SSD, and a 3.6 gigahertz Intel four core processor powered by the latest 2025 Intel Twin Lake N150 chip. What I love about this unit is that you can unlock the mini PC using this switch and reveal the internal components inside, allowing you to upgrade this unit later on if you so choose to. Now, port wise, we are limited, but the key here is that we have enough of the right ports. No fluff. I do wish it had USB-C, but for everyday usage, USB 3.2 is more than fast enough. On the back, we have one gigabit ethernet port, a display port and HDMI, so we can run up to two monitors, two USB 2.0 type A ports, and finally the DC power port which takes only 15 watts of power. On the front, we have the power button, two USB 3.2 type A ports, and of course, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. A huge advantage of this mini PC is that Bluetooth is already available without needing an extra adapter. So you can immediately hook this up to any Bluetooth peripherals from the get-go. This is perfect for running everyday tasks, server management, or even just using it as a secondary device. So why don't we just go ahead and hook this up for the very first time to see how it fares. Come on. All right, so here we are at my desk setup. I am going to completely unplug everything else that I have here at the moment, and we're just gonna focus on the Camrui mini PC. So this is the monitor that I'm gonna be using to hook it up. It's gonna be hooked up through an HDMI cord, and we are going to use a regular wired keyboard and a mouse. And to just show you how it's working um, on the software side. Here is the power adapter. Um, I'm gonna plug this in last. First, I'm going to plug in the keyboard, the mouse, and the HDMI cable. So this HDMI cable is long enough. We're gonna plug it right into the back of the mini PC. And I will plug it into the back of this monitor. I have two HDMI inputs for this monitor, so it makes it a lot more convenient to be able to plug things into here. I can actually switch between my laptop and this mini PC if I want to, which I think I might do. Uh, I might use this as a dedicated Plex server and just have it sitting to the side and when I wanna switch over to it, I just have to switch the inputs on the monitor. So I think that'll actually be pretty convenient for me. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in the USB keyboard. Now, as I mentioned before, it does have Bluetooth, so you can hook up a Bluetooth mouse and a keyboard. However, because this is the first startup, we wanna set everything up first. I would recommend using a wired keyboard and a mouse because you don't know if the Bluetooth um, Actually, you can't even connect your Bluetooth peripherals until you get into the operating system itself. You would want to use a wired uh, USB. So I'm gonna plug it into the back because these are just regular USBs. The front has the high-speed USBs, so you don't wanna plug your keyboard and your mouse in there. If you're gonna be using up those ports full time, uh, you wanna be able to have that front two USBs free. Now, one thing that I find is a disadvantage to this mini PC is that it doesn't have any USB-C ports. An easy way to rectify that is to get a USB 3.2 hub that you can plug into the front, which has all of those ports available to you. So you would be able to input uh, USB-C peripherals if you want to by just purchasing one of those. I'll put a link to that in the description as well too. I have a bunch of different USB hubs that I would recommend. Uh, so I will link that in the description. Alternatively, you could also purchase a mini PC with USB-C and I do have a link in the description for a 
mini PC that does have USB-C. So if you wanted to get one of those, if you prefer USB-C over um, the USB-A ports, then I will put a link to the description with one that does have more USB-C ports. Okay, so the keyboard, the mouse is hooked up. Finally, we're gonna do the power. I am going to plug this in temporarily into a power outlet and we'll plug it into the power. All right, so the moment of truth, let's boot this guy up. We have it plugged in, all the peripherals are plugged in here. I apologize for the mess, it's just a temporary setup as of now. We just wanna show you how this works, but I'm gonna go ahead and boot that guy up. You can see that the LED is on and you can see that the boot screen is there and it's probably gonna load right into Windows for us because Windows is pre-installed on these mini PCs, which is a huge advantage. You don't have to mess around with anything else. There we go. So we're in the setup screen here. My mouse is working perfectly. My keyboard probably works as well too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set up the country. Uh, we'll just use the US standard keyboard. Skip that. Everything's really fast and fluid and it does have Wi-Fi. So that is a huge bonus there. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my Wi-Fi here. Um, let us go ahead and click next. We're probably gonna have some updates as well too that we need to do. Um, if that's the case, I'm just gonna skip through that. Yep, there we go, checking for updates. I'll just pause it here for now so that I don't use up any space. All right, so we're back and we have our updates installed. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and accept this. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead, set it up for personal use. So here we are at the update screen. The one part I loathe about Windows is the updates. Um, and that has been one of the nuances that I've had to deal with while I was on Windows for quite a while. I'm now on Mac. Um, as my primary PC, but I still use Windows in the background. I still use it as my server. Um, it is a solid operating system. Don't get me wrong. It's been around for decades, but sometimes you just have to deal with things like this. Now, once these updates are done, we'll poke around the operating system. We'll show you the specs. I'll show you some Wi-Fi speed tests as well too, so you can kind of get an idea of that. Um, and if there's anything else in the future after this video that you want me to test out, do let me know in the comments below. I can definitely test those things out for you. So I just let the computer sit for a couple of hours, just letting all the uh, updates to install and just letting it settle for a little bit before I was doing any of my testing. And everything seems to be working perfectly. All of the drivers automatically installed. Didn't have to do anything in regards to that. You can already see here, we have Bluetooth, we have Wi-Fi, everything is good. And I did plug it into ethernet for a little bit. I have gigabit ethernet speeds in my home right here. I was very impressed uh, with what I got, as you can see. And let's take a look at what our specs are. So we have that 500 gigabyte SSD, 128 megabytes for the graphics card, and then we have 16 gigs of RAM and our Intel N150 processor. Now, everything works really smooth. Just navigating through the operating system is very, very smooth. Everything's fluid. Uh, you can see that there's not that much lag anywhere. If you are a heavy gamer, this is not for you. It did choke a little bit when I installed Call of Duty. Uh, it wasn't able to actually load the game properly. So that was one thing I noticed. However, things like Roblox and Angry Birds, those games actually were pretty fluid. It worked really well with those types of games. Something that doesn't have heavy rendering, this PC will be able to be able to handle that without any issues. And another thing I should mention is that it is super fast on my home network. So I have a bunch of movies on my home network and just playing those movies off of a network drive was incredibly fast. I was able to seek through the entire movie. I could skip to whatever part I wanted without any lag, any stutter. And these are 4K movies that come around 20 to 30 gigs in file size. So it was able to handle that without any problem. Rendering was great and we didn't have any issues there. Now, another thing about this PC is that it's very silent. You can't really hear it unless you're doing some heavy tasks, then the fan will just kick in for a little bit. But for the most part, it is a very silent machine. So if you're looking for something to have in your bedroom or as a media player, something like that, 
that won't do any heavy tasks, this is a great option because it's very quiet. So over here, I'm in CapCut. I'm going to go ahead and import some 4K files and then just gonna drag it into my timeline. But you can see that everything is actually really, really quick, really fast. It's easy to kind of scrub through my timeline to be able to see what I'm editing. And it's very, very fluid. I'm, I'm really impressed with this as a editing machine. And if you're looking for something to just edit some of your videos, if you're a content creator or an influencer, this is a great option for you. And one thing I should also mention is that there are different configurations of this on Amazon. So if you do want to get something a little bit more powerful, you can always go with something with an AMD Ryzen 7 or 32 gigs of RAM if you want to. There's a lot of configurations and different setups that you can buy from Camrui. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I really do hope that it's given you a little bit of insight into whether this mini PC is right for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. I also will include the links again to this mini PC as well as one with USB-C so that you can get the best deal on Amazon. Like always, my name is J.I. Thank you for watching and thank you for kicking it with me.